help with absolute value equations. As you guys know, absolute value equations commonly have two answers. I'm confused when to make the right side of the equation negative to find the second answer. Can I take the base equation and make the right side negative or must I isolate the term with the variable first? So you are correct. We have to isolate the absolute value with the variable first. And here's a summary that will make everything clear for you. So we must have the absolute value with the x being inside here. And uh, the right hand side must be a positive number. Sometimes you might have x on the right hand side as well, but that's a different situation. So right here, we're talking about just this form, x being on the inside of the absolute value. And then we have to isolate that and make sure that is equal to a positive number. Once we have this, you are going to get two equations from here. The first one is just you take out the absolute value. So you solve the inside being equal to that positive number. And then the second equation is you have the inside and then you are going to make this negative. I'm just going to put a negative right here of the same number. So to make things clear, I'm going to give you three examples. And also there are things that I need you to pay close attention to. First one, suppose we have absolute value of 2x minus 3 is equal to 6. Then we can just proceed by doing this because we have this in this form already. Absolute value of an expression is equal to a positive number. First, we take out the absolute value. So we have 2x minus 3 is equal to 6. And the second one is you take out the absolute value and you are going to negate the positive number. So you just put a negative in front of the 6. So you look at this as negative 6. Then we are going to solve both equations, then we'll be done. First, add 3 to both sides, cancel, and we get 2x equals 9, and then divide both sides by 2. First answer, 9 over 2. From the second equation, we still add 3 to both sides, and we have 2x equals, this is a negative 6. And then plus 3, we have negative 3. And then divide both sides by 2. So the second answer is negative 3 over 2. Here we have two answers. Now, one thing I want to address right here is that a lot of people will think once we solve an absolute value equation, we will end up with two answers, one being positive, the other one being negative. That's not always true. Sometimes you can have the solutions both being positive or both being negative. Keep that in mind. And sometimes you can also have an absolute value equation with no solution. So let's take a look at the second example. For the second one, I have this one, negative 2 plus 5 times the absolute value of x minus 11. That is equal to 18. Right here, do not do this yet. Do not make this equal to 18 and also negative 18. No. The reason is because the absolute value part hasn't been isolated. So to do that, we are going to get rid of the negative 2. Let's add 2 to both sides. Cancel. So we get 5 times the absolute value of x minus 11. It's equal to 20. Now this is 5 times the absolute value. Let's divide both sides by 5. Cancel. So we get absolute value of x minus 11. It's equal to 20 divided by 5, positive 4. This is exactly what we need right here. So we can proceed. Look at the first one. It's x minus 11 equals 4. And the second one, x minus 11 equals negative 4. And then just do it. Right here, we add 11 to both sides. First answer, x is equal to 15. Second one, still add 11 to both sides. But we get x equals, this is negative 4 plus 11, is positive 7. So as you can see, both answers are positive here. It's definitely possible. Keep that in mind. Now, let me show you guys one more equation. Number three, 
let's say we have absolute value of 1 half x plus 3 and then plus 8. Let's say this is equal to 3. Well, just like number 2, the absolute value part hasn't been isolated, so we cannot do anything yet. Right here, we will have to subtract a to both sides. Let's do that here. That's the answer. Subtract a to both sides, and they cancel. So we get absolute value of 1 half x plus 3 is equal to 3 minus 8 is negative 5. Now, do we proceed? In fact, I'll tell you, no, we do not have to proceed anymore. Because once we have the absolute value being isolated, if this is equal to a negative number, then you can just say this right here has no solution. And then, done deal. Because the output of an absolute value cannot be negative. So this is not possible. And let me write that down right here for you. If we have an absolute value of an expression inside, if this right here is equal to a negative number, then you can just write down no solution. If you try to solve it, in fact, you end up with two fake answers, which is not good. Definitely keep that in mind. So this is our case two. This right here was our first case. And do we have case three? Technically, yes. Case three is if you have the absolute value of the inside being equal to zero, because remember the output can have three possibilities either a positive output, or a negative output, or maybe zero output. If it's zero, then I'll tell you, just need to solve the inside being equal to zero. And here, you actually end up with one answer. Because if you have positive zero, and if you do negative zero, you know, they are both equal to zero, so it doesn't matter. So that's case three. So hopefully this right here helps. And now I will give you three questions for you to try. So go ahead and try these questions and put your answers in the comment. And then, if you would like to know why the absolute value gives you two solutions sometimes, then you can check out this video because I'll show you the idea behind absolute value with distance.